The world is watching as the race for technological dominance intensifies. Nations are pouring billions into research, development, and strategic alliances, while simultaneously deploying economic sanctions to throttle the progress of rivals. The global stage is set for a new kind of war, not one fought with missiles or armies, but with microchips, algorithms, and quantum code. For a long time, it was widely believed that certain frontiers of innovation were out of reach for some nations, deliberately blocked by technological embargoes and complex global supply chains. The belief was that cutting-edge developments would remain in the hands of a select few. But something has changed, quietly, without fanfare. A hidden Chinese technological breakthrough has emerged, one that upends expert predictions and rewrites the assumptions that have underpinned global tech policy for years. Its appearance is not just a surprise, it's a shockwave. What was once presumed impossible is now undeniable reality, and the implications are reverberating across the globe. For years, coverage of the geopolitical battle over advanced technologies has focused on a clear strategy. The United States, together with key allies, enacted export restrictions, imposed blacklists, and took aggressive steps to block China's access to vital technologies, especially in the fields of semiconductor fabrication and high-end artificial intelligence. This effort was not just reactive, it was deeply strategic. By choking off access to advanced chips, manufacturing equipment, and cutting-edge GPUs, the goal was to delay China's progress and preserve a technological edge. That edge was viewed as essential, not just for economic reasons, but for ensuring military superiority and the dominance of Western elite digital infrastructure in the future. One critical area of focus was extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography, an incredibly complex and expensive technology used in fabricating the smallest, most advanced semiconductor nodes. The assumption in the West was simple. Without access to EUV, China couldn't build chips capable of powering the next generation of AI or compete with the likes of NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel. That assumption has now been challenged in a dramatic way. Reports have emerged of a new class of Chinese-developed AI models, among them DeepSeek and Miniax M1, that rival or in some metrics even surpass the performance of state-of-the-art Western systems. What makes these developments so striking is not just their technical achievement, but the context in which they occurred. These breakthroughs emerged despite severe restrictions on access to the powerful NVIDIA GPUs typically required to train and run such models. China has faced barriers to acquiring H100 and A100 chips, often considered essential for cutting-edge generative AI. Yet somehow, it, this isn't a case of incremental improvement, it's a leap forward. It reveals a profound misunderstanding of China's internal innovation ecosystem and its ability to adapt under pressure. While the West focused on preventing access to critical tools, Chinese researchers and engineers quietly pursued alternative strategies. These new AI models weren't powered by brute force or the sheer volume of computational power that Western firms enjoy. Instead, they were the product of optimization, innovative software architectures, efficient data handling, and an ability to do more with less. These developments weren't designed to draw attention. They were built quietly, often with the help of open source software communities, and only revealed themselves through sheer performance. Once they were unveiled, the world had to reckon with a new reality. China's indigenous capabilities had advanced much further than anyone thought. If this revelation has caused you to reconsider everything you thought you knew about the global tech landscape, you're not alone. Developments like these are exactly why it's critical to stay informed, engaged, and vigilant. These aren't just headlines. They're tectonic shifts that reshape industries, governments, and international alliances. To keep up with these transformations, staying connected and informed is no longer optional. It's essential. Subscribe, share, and engage, because these stories will define the future. What exactly made this possible? It wasn't a single act of genius or a dramatic hack around export controls. It was a carefully coordinated effort involving multiple layers of planning. Some Chinese companies, anticipating restrictions, stockpiled advanced chips well in advance. Highflyer AI and others reportedly acquired tens of thousands of A100 chips before the restrictions tightened. Others accessed GPUs indirectly, through data centers in third countries, or by sourcing through intermediaries in regions like Southeast Asia. But beyond these immediate workarounds, the more meaningful response was structural. 
Chinese firms, under the leadership of giants like Huawei, doubled down on domestic chip design. Huawei's Ascend series represents a serious push toward self-sufficiency in AI compute hardware. Meanwhile, the country ramped up efforts to produce advanced semiconductors using DUV, deep ultraviolet lithography. While DUV is less advanced than EUV, Chinese engineers found ways to push it to its limits, producing chips at impressive node scales using customized processes. Perhaps the most astonishing part of the story lies in how China's AI models became so efficient. Companies like DeepSeek didn't just copy Western architectures, they reimagined them. They optimized performance to work well even on hardware with lower capabilities. By rethinking how data moves through neural networks, and by training smarter not harder, these companies achieved levels of performance once thought unreachable without Western hardware. This wasn't about overwhelming obstacles with brute computational force, it was about adapting intelligently, targeting efficiency. The effects are already being felt in Silicon Valley. For years it was taken for granted that China would struggle to keep pace without access to cutting-edge chips. But these developments challenge that view head-on. Some observers have compared it to the Sputnik moment. A sudden realization that another power has achieved a surprising technological feat that demands urgent strategic reassessment. The implications are both economic and strategic. For companies like NVIDIA, it means the dominance they've enjoyed in the AI compute market is no longer guaranteed. For governments, it means current export control policies may be creating new incentives for self-reliance, spurring the very developments they were intended to prevent. It's a classic example of unintended consequences in geopolitical maneuvering. The strategic implications go beyond economics. This isn't just about tech firms jostling for market share. It's about national security, intelligence, and the future shape of global influence. China's ability to advance under sanctions demonstrates the limits of containment strategies. It's also a wake-up call for Western nations to rethink their assumptions about resilience, supply chains, and innovation. This development also raises the stakes around military and intelligence applications of AI. The same architectures that power translation tools, chatbots, and recommendation engines can be adapted for surveillance, targeting, and autonomous systems. The blurred line between civilian and military applications makes these breakthroughs all the more significant and potentially dangerous. But this isn't just a one-off surprise. It reflects a broader strength in China's technological ecosystem. Beyond inventing, China excels at diffusing innovation quickly and broadly. Cities like Shenzhen are not just production hubs. They are innovation machines where software and hardware development happen side by side. Rapid iteration, deep supply chain integration, and tight coordination between government and industry give Chinese firms a structural advantage in bringing concepts to market fast. The government plays a central role. With strategic alignment, data-rich infrastructure, and billions of dollars flowing into AI startups, including an $8 billion, $200 million, zero cents fund, the innovation environment is supercharged. The breakthroughs we're seeing now are not accidents. They're the results of a deliberate, systematic approach to development designed to challenge the global status quo. At the same time, these developments raise essential ethical and regulatory questions. Who controls these tools? What are the implications for privacy, surveillance, bias, and social trust? As AI becomes more powerful and more embedded in everyday life, these are no longer hypothetical questions. They China is already taking steps. New regulations on AI-generated content are set to take effect in September 2025. These rules aim to ensure that the power of generative AI is not misused and that its societal integration happens responsibly. Whether this regulatory model will serve as a blueprint or a warning remains to be seen, but it is clear that the rules of engagement are changing. We are entering a new era, one where the technological playing field is no longer defined by who has the most resources, but by who adapts fastest. The age of linear, predictable progress is behind us. The emergence of China's once-hidden breakthrough is a clear signal the global tech ecosystem has shifted. Long-held assumptions about dominance, containment, and innovation must now be re-evaluated. The future of AI, semiconductors, and geopolitical power hangs in the balance. What happens next will define not just who leads the next wave of technological change, 
but how that leadership will shape the world we all live in. This isn't just a story of technical achievement. It's a turning point, one that invites all of us to question, to observe more closely, and to think more critically about where this rapidly evolving world is headed. We've talked about the models, the strategy, and the consequences, but we want to hear from you. What do you think this means for your future? Are these breakthroughs a reason for hope or for concern? Do you see global AI development heading toward more fragmentation or more collaboration? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Your perspective matters. And if this opened your eyes to how the tech world is shifting, consider subscribing, liking, and sharing to stay part of the conversation. Every voice, every insight, shapes how we understand and respond to this critical moment in history. Thanks for watching. See